Hello friends. Today in this video, we are going to see about how to create an Android based programming or a game. So this is, we are going to start from the scratch. So this will be very, very useful for the beginners who doesn't know how to create or how to do any Android programming. We are going to start from the scratch and uh, the, all the information necessary for starting from the scratch is available in this video. In general, for creating an Android program or a game, so you need an Android Studio or any other application that supports development of a program or a game. So we can go with Android Studio. It is a more stable version. So go to google.com and type Android Studio for Windows. So this is the Android Studio link. So it is from developer.android.com. So just click on the first link and download the recent one. So the current recent one is Android Studio Chipmunk 2001 patch 2 for Windows. So this is the current version of Android Studio available. So you can download this package. After you click the download, so you will get an agreement page. So just go to the bottom. I have read and agree with the about terms and conditions and click on download. So now the download has started. So it will take approximately two to three minutes and make sure you are having a good internet because the size of this package is a bit more. So it is of 929 MB. Once the package is downloaded, we have to install the package on your PC. So just double click it. So this is your setup page. So first click on next to continue. So click on next. So these are the list of components that are required for the installation. So ensure both the components are selected and click on next. So this is the part where the Android Studio will be installed. So if you want to change the part, just click on browse and select the part where you want to install. You can use any path for installation. Once the path is selected, click on next again. So here now it shows about the folder menu for creating the program shortcuts. So you can just go with the same name or if you want to change some other name, you can change it here and click on install. So if you don't want to create any shortcuts on your desktop or on your programs, then click do not create shortcuts. But we can create the shortcuts so that is easy to start the application. So here Android Studio and then click on install. So now it is installing the Android Studio in the PC. Once the installation is completed, click on next to go to the next window. And now we got confirmation that Android Studio has been installed on the computer. So click on finish to close the setup and we can check it here so that the Android Studio will also be started. So now we can click on finish. When you start the Android Studio for the first time, it lasts for import Android Studio settings. Since we are starting it for the first time, so we can choose do not import settings and then click on OK. So now the Android Studio chipmunk version is getting loaded. So here it is whether the Google has to collect usage data or to collect any information. Here you can select do not send. Because if you are send, if you are selecting send usage statistics to Google, then Whenever your laptop or PC is connected to the internet, so there will be some data communicated to Google. So better click on do not send and then click on next again. So here it shows what type of setup you want. So whether it is standard setup or you want to go with a customized. So we can go with a standard setup. So ensure standard setup is selected and click on next. On the next window, it says select the UI theme. That means user interface theme. Whether you want to be in the dark background or on the white background. So whichever you feel comfortable, you can go with the either the dark one, which is a Dragula one, or the light white one. So whichever you are feeling comfortable, you can select the color as per your convenience and then click on next. So here it shows the list, whatever you have selected. And if you want to change, then we can go to the previous and we can change. 
if you, everything is correct we can just click on next again so now we are in the license agreement page so we have to select the android sdk license click on accept and then android extra license that is intel android extra license click on accept and then click on finish so now there will be some packages downloaded from google and it will be installed in the pc and this will take a couple of minutes to get downloaded fully all the downloading components is completed so we can now click on finish and this is the android studio project page so now the installation is completed and we have got the android studio fully open so now one we can start creating new programs or games using android studio thanks friends i hope this gave you information about how to install android studio and how to launch android studio application in the next upcoming videos we'll be seeing how to create android programs and games so in case if you're not subscribed to this channel so please do subscribe so that you will be get notified on the upcoming videos thank you thanks for watching